Fear exists a man who can defeat any MMA fighter, any UFC champion. He has never competed in MMA or any sanctioned bouts, but he has destroyed champions of all arts and gyms across the world. He is a master of no art, but is a master of combat itself. This man who has gone unknown to the world for many years and only been heard of in legend is Scott Rusk. So, all right, all right. Now, BS aside, what brought about this video is a podcast that Pat Militic had some time ago where he basically talked about this mysterious guy named Scott Rusk who trained at his gym or around the gym, I think in his gym, Team Militic or whatever. And, said, and he said, basically said that this guy could be, like, beat any MMA fighter. He could beat UFC champions. So I'm going to speak on this whole BS. So from the jump, the way he said it and the way he kind of like he was implying things, it gives you this feel like he's trying to say or trying to imply to make it seem like this guy is giving every fiction, like fiction nut, movie, comic book, geek, or like what's called, I don't know, there's any type of these little nutty people with these dumb like dolls in their head. And it's giving them their wet dream and validation because there's always those people talking about how these pro fighters aren't really the best fighters and they're really just scrubs and all this stuff. And the real best fighters are some monks in the mountain or military trained operative secret agents or some alcoholic street fighter who some drunken master or something or some guy that doesn't want glory or money. So they choose not to fight at all because they don't want to be glorified and they just want to be peaceful and this stuff and only use combat and martial arts for what it's supposed to be for in defense, these gentle fist type guys. So yeah, basically that whole BS as far as what Pat Militich said in his video slash podcast is that this Scott Russ guy doesn't compete, but he just comes in the gym and watches all these pro MMA fighters up. And Pat Militich went, even went as far to say that this um, Scott Russ guy is the best guy that he has ever seen, ever. So this all just sounds like some fancy clickbait, and that is really what it is at the end of the day. It got you to click, got me to click click on it but how much substance to it like how much reality is there in this whole thing his whole statements i don't think there's too much reality in there though there may be some truth to it like when it, he mentioned that after losing to matt lindland like matt lindland beat up pat militich in the like in the ufc that lindland came to buy his gym to train at a gym maybe just get in some more grappling maybe get in with some different people and stuff so he came by the gym after beating pat militich then they were drilling takedown you know like when they do takedowns if they take down for takedowns y'all in the circle lined up you take down as many people as you can, and then when you get takedown, it just rotates. Constantly, people just constantly rotate and go on takedown for takedown. You get a takedown, you stay in. You, you get taken down, you get out and go back to the back of the line. So basically, it was in that type of thing. And Pat Militich ended up wrestling against this Scott Russ guy. And Scott Russ was able to take him down several times. And like Matt Lindland was all bitter and saying, like, how could this guy take me down? And it was lucky and stuff. When he was supposed to go to the end of the line, he has a guy taken down, like, what, 10-plus times by Scott Russ. And he was all heated about it. But then eventually they had to just pull him out of the wrestling rotation. And then he asked um, Pat Militia, like, who's this guy? How's he taking me now? Where he come from? And all this stuff. So basically that was the story. And then that was pretty much the whole story right there. So then you look up this guy called Scott Rusk. Maybe it is the same guy or maybe it isn't the same guy. But there actually is a Steve Rusk who has competed in. I'm saying, well, I call him Scott Rusk or Steve Rusk. But yeah, Scott Rusk. He's not even relevant in my mind. Basically, his his name is Russ, something Rusk, or Scott Rusk, who has competed in BJJ competition, who, who is like a two-time, he is a two-time NCAA All-American, not champion, but All-American. And he has about three pro MMA fights. He's 3-0. Didn't beat nobody special in MMA. I mean, like those pro fights. He didn't really beat nobody special in grappling, I don't think. Obviously, you had to be pretty solid to be a, a two-time All-American, so he did something there. So he's not just some key warrior coming off the street. He's not some underground bar, like bar brawler or something like that. And like I said, he's a NCAA wrestling, like all American. So that can explain his proficiency in wrestling since he is a two time all American wrestler. And the sport is filled with all American wrestlers having success across all weight classes in different leagues. So looking at this guy's performance, performances, he doesn't look anything special, never did anything special. So maybe he's one of those guys who's a beast in the gym, but lackluster in competition. He's a grappler. First and foremost, his striking is nothing special. His grappling not really anything special. His striking, like I said, his striking looks terrible. So, like I said, he's probably a striker. I mean, a grappler with awful striking and not that much of a phenomenal grappler either. So, I don't know how he would even make it to the top 15 of any division currently in the UFC. 
but maybe in the days when Pat, like Matt Lindley was a top contender and Pat Militich was competing in the UFC still with decades ago or at least a decade and some change ago. But now I don't see it. I don't see it like like the sport has evolved greatly since their days competing. So maybe he meant back then he could have did something, but now I don't think he could even do anything, even if he was in his prime. But to wrap things up, let me just make one thing clear or make something clear. Yeah, there are people like out there who aren't necessarily competing in MMA, maybe don't partic- participate in any type of competition, like MMA competitions, who can beat MMA fighters. Maybe they train some martial art. Maybe they have some combat training. And maybe they do have a high ceiling and lots of talent to do this stuff and all this stuff like or maybe even monks could, like could do this stuff because look we look at like the history even a math teacher became a ufc champion and that champ that math teacher is rich frank rich franklin one of the best to ever do it, and he trained out of his garage to start but as far as who could do this and who could do who could have done that like like i said all this he say she say who could do this who could that, do that i could have been this i could have been that this is the platform to do it on there's MMA and the UFC being the, like the Premier League with the most spotlight and recognition. So if you could, can do it or could do it, and if you didn't do it for whatever reason, then you just didn't do it. And you, I guess you couldn't do it because you didn't do it. There's, you have no proof to prove you could have done anything or maybe you could have done, uh, done this or could have done that, but you didn't do anything. You could, you could have been a decent fighter, but you can't get praised for hypotheticals and stuff you never did. So somebody can talk you up all they want, but unless you go out there and do something, then you ain't do it. Because there's actually people who are actually supposed to be supposed to do this and supposed to do that, who actually compete in MMA, or supposed to be the stars, supposed to be two weight champions, supposed to be all this stuff, and they have to go out there train hard and do the best they can, and they fall far short of any expectations. So you're pretty much an athlete in a less a, a shorter boat than those people who actually were supposed to do this and do that that didn't do it. Because you're a person who said you could do this and all that, or maybe someone else said you could do it, and then you didn't go out there and you didn't even try. So you're really in even a worse place than them. So really, don't even know you need to bring them up. It's fun to talk about, but they have no standing to say anything or be put into anything. Because they're like, those people that became champions worked hard for many years, took some losses or hard training to get to that point. So you can't just be put in that same position or talk to them like you're on the same level as them because you ain't do it. But that concludes this video. I know I went around and said the same thing, like he, he, she, 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 all that stuff. But that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for more videos. Peace.